got a good friend that's gonna be leaving pretty soon. And I don't have a better friend in the world than the guy that's here today. Finally, I talked to the players last night. Asked them if they'd be all right. <coughs> we just played this one for you. If you wouldn't mind, if I'm uh, I'd like to say a word before we go out, I'd like you to sing a song and have we'll go out and get the game going. You all ready? Yeah. Yeah. In all the years that I've been in athletics, that, that anything has meant as much to me as a statement was just made. Uh, play one for me, damn it, I, you know, you know. I don't know how to react, really, other than I might tell you that probably two of the games I played in a bunch of them, but the two games that still probably mean the most to me was 1948 and 49, when we kicked the hell out of CU. But as you go on down the road, I think you'll look back that this will be one of the greatest times of your career. But you want that song? Please. <clears throat> I'll sing you a song of college days and tell you where to go. Aggies, where your knowledge is, and Boulder to spend your dough. CC for your sissy boys and Utah for your time. DU for your ministers and drunkard school of mine. Don't send my boy to Wyoming, you a dying mother said. Don't send him to old Brigham Young, I'd rather see him dead. But send him to our Aggies, it's better than Cornell. Before I'd see him in Boulder, I'd see my son in hell. <laughs> Rams took it right from the misty locker room to the drizzle on Folsom Field and played an inspired football game. The Ram defense was as tough and unrelenting as it was consistent, breaking the buff bone at every turn. Leading the troops was middle linebacker Dale Carr, a player who had a long time to think about this game. Carr suffered a season-ending knee injury in the CU game last year. He came back with a vengeance in 1986. On this day, he would take no prisoners, sign no treaties. Carr's attacking play set up a number of scoring opportunities, crushed any sign of momentum, and earned him the honor of Sports Illustrated Defensive Player of the Week. Offensively, it was a total team effort. The line kept quarterback Kelly Stoffer dry all day in a well-sealed pocket, giving him ample time to connect with his core of reliable receivers. The line also gave Old Faithful Steve Bartello room to roam. The NCAA active career rushing leader gained 145 yards and scored a touchdown in the third quarter. Carr ends any notion of a buff comeback and ushers in a wave of delirious celebration.